let us see chapter 1 patterns in mathematics grade 6 1.4 relations among number sequences question number 6 what happens when you start to add up numbers of 2 starting with 1 that is take 1 next 1 plus 2 next 1 plus 2 plus 4 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. So, here we are adding up powers of 2. So, 2 power 0, 1. Next, 1 plus 2 power 1, 1. 1 plus 2 power 1 plus 2 square. Next, 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 square, 2 cube and so on. Now, we add 1 to each of these numbers. What numbers did you get? Why does this happen? Let us see. What will happen 1? Upon 1 equals to 1 only. Next, second one is 1 plus 2 is equals to 3. Next, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Sum of these 3 numbers is 7. 1 plus 2 plus 4 is 7. Fourth sequence is 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8. Nothing but 15. Now let us add 1 to these numbers. The C here series form is 1, 3, 7, 15 is formed. But now we need to add 1 to each of these numbers. So for this one upon addition of 1, we will get 1 plus 1, 2. 2 we can represent as a 2 power 1. Similarly, 3 plus 1 gives to 4. Nothing but 4 can be 2, 2 is So, nothing but 2 square. Similarly, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 1 is nothing but 8. 8 can be written as 2 into 2 into 2. So, 2 cube. Therefore, here powers of 2 is formed. Addition of 1 to each of this number is a series. 1 plus 3 plus 7 increases power of 2. So, here 2 power 1. 2 square, 2 cube and 2 power 4. Why does this happen? This happens because the sum of the first powers of 2, 2 power 0 equals to 1 is 1 less than the next power of 2. So, here 3 is nothing but 1 less than the 4. Next, 7 is 1 less than 8. 15 is 1 less than 16. Thus, this sequence happens. Let us see question number 7. What happens when you multiply the triangular numbers by 6 and add 1? Which sequence do you get? Can you explain it with which picture? Triangular numbers already we have seen 1, 3, 6. Those are the sequence of the triangular numbers. See, the triangular numbers are 1, 3, 6, 10, 15. Why we are calling this as a triangular numbers? Because this can be represented in the form of triangle. This is 1, this is 3, this is 3. Similarly, it can be. Now, we need to multiply with a 6 and add 1. Let us multiply. 1 into 6 plus 1 is 7. Similarly, 3 into 6 plus 1 is equals to 19. Next number is 6 into 6 plus 1, 37. So, can we represent this 7 as this hexagonal form of this one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this value is here 7, which is the first number. Now, 19. Let us see 19. 19 we can represent it as this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, this number is 19. Similarly, this number is 37. So, upon multiplying each of the triangular number with the 6, an addition of 1 gives hexagonal numbers. We are calling this as hexagonal numbers because this is in the hexagonal pattern. Hexagonal is with the 6 sides of this. See, if you observe, all these patterns are in the form of hexagonal.
then this is also in the form of x only pattern let us see question number 8 what happens when you start to add up hexagonal numbers that is take 1 1 plus 7 1 plus 7 plus 19 1 plus 7 plus 19 plus 37 which sequence do you get can you explain it using a picture of a cube so this is the question they have given hexagonal pattern here already we have seen this is in the form of hexagonal pattern is which is in the form of hexagonal so hexagonal number sir 1 7 19 37 we need to observe what pattern we will get upon adding of 1 plus 7 and 1 plus 7 plus 19 similarly 1 plus 17 plus 19 plus 37 let us add 1 is 1 we can represent as a 1 as a 1 cube similarly 1 plus 7 is nothing but 8 8 can be represented as a 2 cube similarly 1 plus 7 plus 19 nothing but 27 27 we can represent it as a 3 into 3 into 3 nothing but 3 cube next 1 plus 2 plus 19 plus 37 gives 64 64 we can represent it as a 4 cube Next number is 1 plus 7 plus 19, 37 plus 64 is 125. 125 we can represent it as is 5 cube. So, here we are getting in the form of cubical pattern. Okay. So, this is nothing but this cuboid. We have to explain with the pictures means we have to write each of the cube here. So, 1 cube is 1. Next, 2 cube is 8. 3 cube is 27. 4 cube is 64. 5 cube is 127. So, upon adding up the each hexagonal number, we will get to this sequence of this cubes. Therefore, darshan of hexagonal numbers gives the cube of a natural number. Let us go to question number 9. Find your own pattern or relations in and among the sequences in table 1. Can you explain why they happen with a picture or otherwise? We can take any path sequence. Let us see one example here. Here, we have considered even numbers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This is the consecutive multiples of 2. Nothing but even numbers. Okay. So, next one, next sequence is 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. If we observe these are consecutive multiples of 3. 3 ones are 3, 3 two is a 6, 3 three is a 9 and so on. If we want to represent the consecutive multiples of 2, we can represent it as a 2. Next, 2, 2 is a 4. This number is, next one is 2, 3 is a 6. Next, 2, 4 is a 8. Similarly, we can represent it as 3 also. Here, 3, 1 is a 3. 3, 3 is a 6. Here, the 6 are there. Similarly, 9 and all. So, this is any pattern you can consider. Thank you.